Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. If you're headed out and about for an early lunch, well, grab a coat, you might want it, but all in all, it's a pleasant afternoon. We're still chilly this morning, very, very slow to warm today. 64 in Muscle Shoals, 63 in Gunnersville, 62 in Scottsboro, right this second as you're stepping out the door. Part of the reason that we're so chilly, well, is that cold front that moved through this morning that we talked about on Way 31 Morning News, but it's also this gusty wind. Even when our temperatures are rising, this wind is keeping us feeling cooler because it's coming out of the north. At the moment, we're gusting anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour. That will gradually diminish about bedtime, but this pretty much is going to stay with us through bedtime. So it is going to be windy and a little bit chilly out there throughout the rest of the day. 1122 on your Monday, 31 triple Doppler, cloud and rain free, but that doesn't mean the weather's necessarily calm. Earlier this morning, around 6 a.m., we had a cold front push into the Tennessee Valley. That's where our major dip in temperature change came right as the sun was rising, and that's where that wind is coming from as well. Now, we're mild today for the most part, a little bit on the chilly side of mild, but still mild. But by later this week, that is no longer the case. Our high temperature today will get up to 70 degrees, only a few degrees warmer than we are right now. Back to the mid 60s for dinner and then to the low 60s by the time we head to bed. Staying windy throughout this nine o'clock hour, that's when we're gonna start to see a very slight reprieve from that wind. So if you wanna go to the park today, I say do it. If you wanna take the dog on a walk today, I say do it. But I also say bring a windbreaker or a jacket with you while you're out and about just so you don't regret going outside. <laughs> now, tomorrow is a day long awaited in the Anello family, as well as for many of us in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. First day of bow season. If you're out before work, sunrise just before 7 a.m. This is important. Wind coming out of the northwest and real strong, about 10 to 15 miles an hour. At that time, temperatures in the 40s, so you're going to want to bundle up. If you're waiting to head out in the woods until after work, sunset just after 6 p.m., wind at that point significantly calmer coming out of the dune north. So kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other, depending on which one you want to go. You can be cold and get winded, or you can <laughs> be a little bit warmer and uh, have some a little less chance of getting winded, which would be good. Whatever you do, just make sure you bundle up. Wednesday and Thursday, this is when our cold front really starts to shine. It not only drops our temperatures below average, it drops them incredibly low, sitting in the mid and upper 30s. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to have frost as much of a concern because we're lacking that low level moisture. Moisture. However, our temperatures are going to be well in the threshold where we want to start wearing gloves and jackets. The good news is by Sunday we've rebounded to the low 50s, so we don't hang out in the 30s for long, but they sure do pack a punch while they're here. We're not keeping any rain this week or in fact throughout the 10 day forecast, so if you want your garden watered, you're going to have to be the one that does it. The atmosphere is just not helping us out. By this weekend, we're a little closer to average. Wake ups near 50, highs in the upper 70s.